Okay, so let's have this topic, the implicit differentiation. So first, let's have this different derivative. So to get the derivative of y, this one is y prime, then the derivative of y squared. So using the general power rule, so if we have u to the power n, so to get the derivative, this one is n times u to the power n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So if we have this y squared, so to get the derivative, this one is 2 times y to the power 2 minus 1 times the derivative of y, that one is y prime. So therefore, the derivative of y squared is 2y y prime. Then for this y to the power 3, so the derivative using this uh, general power rule, that's 3y squared y prime. Then for 2y, this one is 2y prime. Then for 2y to the power 4, so general power rule, multiply this exponent to this numerical coefficient, that's 8, then minus 1 for exponent times the derivative of y, that's y prime. So we have 8y to the power 3 times y prime. Then for uh, x times y, so using the product rule, so to get the derivative, this is u and this one is v. So since u is x, so therefore the derivative of x, that's 1. Then v is y, so the derivative of y, that's y prime. Then the formula for the uh, product rule, so we have v times the u prime plus u times the v prime. So v is y, then u prime is 1, plus u is x, then v prime is y prime. So therefore, the derivative of x times y, that's y plus x times the y prime. So these are the different derivative using the implicit differentiation. So if we have this given, so find the derivative of y plus x squared plus 6x equals 1. So we need to derive every term for this uh, given. So first, the derivative of y, that's y prime. Then the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x. The derivative of 6x, that's 6. And the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then solve for y prime, so transpose every term with no y prime to the right. So transpose this 2x to the right, that becomes negative 2x. Then this 6 to the right, that becomes negative 6. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so x squared plus y squared plus 2y equals 7, then derive every term. So the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x. Then the derivative of y squared, that's 2y, y prime. The derivative of 2y, this one is 2 times y prime. Then the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. Then to solve for uh, y prime, so transpose term with no y prime. So therefore transpose this 2x to the right. So that becomes negative 2x. Then to solve for y prime, so factor out this y prime. So we have y prime times 2y plus 2, then equals negative 2x. Then to solve for y prime, so divide both sides by 2y plus 2, and also 2y plus 2. So cancel, so y prime now is equal to negative 2x over 2y plus 2. Now since we can factor out 2 in the denominator, so we have this 2. So put 2 outside, so that becomes a y, then 2 divided by 2, that's 1. Then cancel now this 2. So therefore, the derivative now, that's y prime, is equal to negative x over y plus 1. Then for this given, so again, derive every term. So the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x. 
Then the derivative of 2xy, so we have 2 times the derivative of xy, so we have the product rule. So this one is y plus xy prime. Then the derivative of y squared, that's 2y, y prime. And the derivative of this uh, constant, that's 0. Then uh, simplify, so distribute this 2, that's 2y, distribute. That's 2x uh, y prime plus 2y y prime equals 0. Then transpose every term with no y prime to the right. So transpose this 2x. That becomes negative 2x. And transpose this 2y. That becomes negative 2y. Then factor out y prime. So we have y prime. That's 2x plus 2y equals negative 2x and negative 2y. And divide both sides by 2x plus 2y to solve for y prime. So 2x plus 2y. So cancel. And y prime now is equal to negative 2x minus 2y over 2x plus 2y. Now observe in our equation that in the numerator, if we're going to put the negative outside. So this negative 2x becomes positive 2x and this negative 2y becomes positive 2y then over 2x plus 2y so we can cancel now this 2x plus 2y so therefore y prime now is equal to negative 1 so this is now the derivative